to my channel and if you're new hi I'm Brittany welcome to my channel I'm so glad you're here today so today we're filming a very exciting video we're gonna be doing a dupe video so I'm gonna be showing you some products that I found for some high-end makeup some of the products are drugstore and some of them are just like still high-end but more affordable like versions and some of the dupes I found are even better than the original so I'm really excited about this video so if you guys want to see it let's go ahead and get started Okay guys, so starting off with primer. So I have a dupe for the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Primer Spray and that is gonna be the Wet n Wild Primer Water. So these are exactly the same. Even when it comes down to the scent, this one smells like coconut and so does this one. But they're both really, really good products. One is not better than the other. They're the same when it comes to quality, but price is where they're different. So Too Faced retails for $32 and the Wet n Wild retails for $5.49, which is not a bad price at all. So I do suggest the Wet n Wild one. Now you do get less product in the Wet n Wild one. You get 1.52 fluid ounces and then in the hangover one you get 4.0 but I still think it's a very very good dupe for this one so the next primer we have is gonna be duping the Tatcha silk canvas primer which retails for $52 so super duper pricey and it's gonna be the elf poreless putty primer this retails for only $8 and you could find it at Ulta if you don't know I think you can find it anywhere where they have elf so you guys probably have already heard about this dupe just because a lot of people have been talking about the elf one but I actually like the elf one a lot more than the Tatcha just because the Tatcha I feel like if I wear any kind of skincare with this it balls up and the elf still will do it if I have too much on but doesn't do it as bad as the Tatcha so I actually find myself gravitating more towards the elf because I do like it better and I do feel like it's a little bit thinner consistency wise compared to the Tatcha obviously I have used more of the Tatcha one but that is only because I'm trying to finish it up because I think it's expired to be honest that was all the primers that we had. Moving on to another spray. I actually have quite a few sprays in this video, um, but I'm gonna be duping the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. This retails for $28 at Sephora. And the dupe for this one is gonna be the L'Oreal Lumi Shake and Glow Dew Mist, which retails for $14.99, and I got mine from Ulta. So the Glow Recipe one has 2.53 fluid ounces, and the L'Oreal one has 3.0 fluid ounces. So this one does have more. Both of these have a ultra fine mist, which is just a really, really kind of light mist. You barely even feel it going on the skin. The Glow Recipe one is more geared towards like being a skincare product. It's just supposed to be moisturizing, and it says glowing radiance on it. Now the L'Oreal one is more of like a dew mist. It's meant to give you that glow. And I was just so happy when I found this dupe just because the Glow Recipe one, like look how much I finished out of it and it has a little bit less product and it's super expensive. And the L'Oreal one is kind of pricey for drugstore but it's still more affordable than the Glow Recipe one. So I don't feel as guilty using this one. So what I like to use these ultra fine mist for is actually after powder. So after I bake and sometimes I'll even put a powder on top of my bake and so my face looks really kind of dry and just like flat and matte but I do feel like I have to do that every day because I have oily combo skin and I just like the way it looks after everything's done everything just looks really poreless and smooth so I'll just go in with one of these sprays to kind of liven up the skin and give me a little bit more hydration and glow but yeah I love both of these products but the L'Oreal is a perfect dupe for this one moving on to powder so this one is not a drugstore dupe but it is more affordable than the Hourglass Mineral Vel setting powder so a lot of people love this. It's been raved about. I actually used this whole thing up. It's empty, but I thought I would just show you the packaging. Um, so the dupe for this one is the Pure Cosmetics Loose Setting Powder. The Hourglass one is $46, and you get how much in here? 0.36 ounces and then the pure has 0.3 ounces which is a little bit less product but I still feel like it's worth it because this is only $30 and this one's 46 and so what I love about both of these powders is that they're not drying on the skin some people have said that the hourglass gives them a little bit of a glow but I haven't personally seen that on my skin the only thing I've seen is that it doesn't dry out my under eyes or the rest of my skin which I love just because I don't want anything to look too dry but I do love the hourglass and the pure under my eyes I actually tried the pure one first and then I moved on to trying the hourglass and then I thought in my head oh my gosh that's so similar to the pure one and so I tried them out side by side and they're definitely a dupe 
for each other. I gotta say though, I do like the hourglass packaging a lot better. It has like a sifter and everything. I actually took mine out to get the rest of the powder out because none of it, like there was a whole bunch stuck in the bottom and it didn't want to come out so I had to break it. But yeah, I like the packaging of the hourglass a lot better just because the pure one, it has a sponge right here on top which I never use and the sifter is a little bit harder to get the powder out of. And so yeah, I actually broke this one too so I could get the rest of the powder out but it's not opening right now. Packaging wise, like I said, I like this one better but this one is definitely a perfect dupe for this one. Now I know it's not drugstore but it's still more affordable which is all right for me, you know? Moving on to a highlighter dupe. This is the Cookie Highlighter from Benefit. I have the whole palette, but you can buy this separately in the future because they are coming out with one that's just by itself and it's gonna retail for $30 probably just because all their box kind of powder products retail for 30. Um, but yeah, I'm so, oh my God, I just dropped the <laughs> brush. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited because I found a dupe for this and a lot of people really love it. So the dupe is gonna be this Wet n Wild highlight in the color I Am So Lit and this is a loose highlighter. It retails for $7.49. I applied both of these highlights to my cheeks today and as you could see, I'm very blinding on each side and they are exact dupes. Like the color is not different. The shine is not different. The only thing that is different about these highlighters is the actual like formula. So this one is obviously like a loose highlighter. So it's a little bit more messy, um, but it's straight pigment right away. And then obviously the benefit one is a pressed highlighter. And so yeah, I was really excited about this dupe just because for $8, you could get the same effect as the benefit one. And so I love that dupe. Let's talk about some eyeshadow. So I have some palettes from Ulta ego and if you don't know about them they are a brand that is made for like duping products or that that's their like specialty I don't know how to explain it but this is their goddess palette and this is a dupe for the Natasha Denona gold palette which is hundred and twenty nine dollars and this one is only sixteen dollars and I have not tried the Natasha Denona one but I'm still mentioning this to you guys just because I have tried this palette and it's very high quality and it's just a overall like good all-around palette and I have tried some of her other palettes and it seems like it's pretty on par with that, so I did want to mention it to you guys, but if you wanted the gold palette, I would suggest buying this one. So I have another palette from Alter Ego. This is their Daydream palette, and this is a dupe for the Huda Beauty New Nude palette, which retails for $65. And the Alter Ego one, which is the one I'm holding, retails for $18. So let me hold them up side by side. I did do one eye with the Huda Beauty palette and the other eye with the Alter Ego. And as you guys could see, they look pretty dang similar. So this one right here is Alter Ego and this is the Huda Beauty one. Now some of the shimmers are a little bit different. I'm not gonna lie, when it comes to color, some of the shimmers don't match up. Um, but a lot of the mattes are super duper like the same almost. But the formula is what I love so much. The Alter Ego formula is just such a great dupe for the Huda Beauty formula. I don't know, something about the shimmers are just so foiled and so nice on the eyes and the mattes blend like a dream. And so I definitely had to mention this dupe for you guys. Even if some of the colors are a little bit off, I still think it's a great dupe. So we have another powder dupe. This one is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. This retails for $39. And the dupe for it is gonna be the Rumel Stay matte loose setting powder now I just wanted to try this because I was super curious about it because their pressed powder got a lot of rave back in the day so I wanted to see how their loose powder was and then I realized that it was a dupe for the peach perfect which is awesome I love both of them the only thing I don't like about the Rimmel one is that kind of smells like a little bit old lady-ish but it's nothing too crazy kind of like Cody airspun that one is super strong Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry guys, but if you hear them like blowing the leaves, they've been doing it all day and I've been trying to avoid filming like when they're doing it, but it's just impossible to not get it on camera. So I'm so sorry about that guys. Um, But yeah, this is a definite dupe. They even have that same kind of pink tone to them. Well, the peachy one is a little bit more yellowy, I guess. Um, but they are very, very similar. A lot of people were even telling me that the Rimmel one was a dupe for the MAC um, Patrick Star powder which is discontinued so if you love that powder this one is also a dupe for that one which is really great I love the MAC one as well
Last but not least, we have some setting sprays. So the first one is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is just a cult favorite. It's been on YouTube for so many years, and the new one that is a dupe for the Urban Decay is going to be the Tarte Stay Spray. So this one is only $5 cheaper. The Urban Decay one is $32, and this one is $25. Now, I'm not going to say much about these two just because I do have a full video comparing the two and doing like an all-day wear test already, but I did want to mention it in this video because I was kind of excited that I found a dupe for the Urban Decay one. Now, ever since that video, I have been testing this one out, and I will say that this one is just maybe a tad bit more glowy but yeah other than that they're pretty dang similar and so yeah guys that's gonna be everything for today's video I hope that you guys enjoyed make sure to give it a thumbs up so I can know to keep doing these in the future but if you're not already subscribed to my channel Brittany Raquel go ahead and subscribe I do make videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday so that's three times a week and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye